and it could not have come at a more perfect time. Ready? We're talking about these. Dark under eye circles. The, thank you for the lighting. Yeah. If there was not this television lighting, you'd be mm -hmm. horrified by the way we yeah. looked. They're more common than you might think. But not all dark circles are the same. That is absolutely right. We have a lot of questions. Our next guest is here to answer them for us. Poor her. I'm so sorry in advance. Please welcome skin expert and founder of Glow by Glenn, mm -hmm. <laughs> Dr. Glenn. Say it for me again. Dr. Glenisha Nasworthy. Uh, that is a fantastic <laughs> name. Hello. Dr. Nasworthy. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. First of all, that uh, collagen cocktail you say. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> when I have a cocktail, I want to truly enjoy it. Yeah. When I go out, I'm having a good time. I don't want to drink a pair of socks. <laughs> no. Dirty or most, clean. Most right, would agree exactly. with you, I think. And yeah. by most, I mean us two, for us sure. Us two, for sure, yeah. Um, okay. Let's get right to it, because this is... This is for us. Mm -hmm. This is for my mother. This, this is, is for everybody watching at home. Men, women. Men, women, everybody. everybody. Bobby's raising his hand. Everybody gets dark circles. Not all dark circles are the same. Right. They all look different. Where do they come from? What is the root cause of a dark circle? So that is a great question. There are two main categories for the causes behind dark circles. The first one is simply genetics. Mm -hmm. yes. I knew you were going to say that. Yes. Miriam. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, if your parents have dark under eyes, then you are likely to have it too. I'm okay. so sorry for everyone it's who's fine. watching and it's disappointed. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> but the second category is related to diet and lifestyle. Mm. If you are a smoker, excess alcohol intake, dehydration, mm -hmm. if you are uh, exposed to the sun too much without enough sun protection, mm -hmm. if you're uh, not getting enough sleep, fatigue, mm. All those things. Mm -hmm. What role do vitamins play in, so, in all of this business? And that's the third category, medical conditions oh. and vitamins. So medical conditions, metabolic conditions such as diabetes, thyroid disease, uh, all of those can cause dark under eyes. You also have anemia, which mm -hmm. is a deficiency mm -hmm. in iron, but also you can, have, you can become anemic by a deficiency in B12. Yeah. Then the other vitamins, such as fat-soluble vitamins, your vitamin A, D, E, and K, all of those contribute to dark under eyes. We okay. can't win for losing. So is it, is it, uh, is it like a, a lacking, just to, just to put a bow on mm -hmm. that? It's a, it's a deficiency in those vitamins. A deficiency because they're very important in the building blocks of mm -hmm. collagen and elastin, which is why... Drinking collagen is not as effective. You mm -hmm. have to build it. Your body has to build it. <laughs> How do we do that? Yes. So as I'm an internal medicine physician, I own an integrative medical practice. So when I look at beauty, I look at beauty from the inside out. Yeah. And nutrients is a vital part of beauty. Right. If you're nutrient deficient, it's hard for you to have the nutrients that your cells need in order to create collagen, elastin, and these proteins. So you need a good variety of vitamins, mm. especially the ones that I mentioned, your yeah. fat-soluble vitamins. Right. You also need amino acids, your proline, your lysine. These are the uh, proteins, are, amino acids are the building blocks of proteins, of proteins. and proteins are what make that's el the elastin and collagen. Those are proteins. Okay. So it's really important to have that combination it's for those micronutrients. So to, to, to build this. Not all dark under eye circles are built alike. There are four different types. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us? Uh, yeah. Can you tell us? Yeah. So there are four different types, but I actually break it down into three categories. Okay. Oh, sure, sure, sure. My first category is hyperpigmentation, mm -hmm. and that's usually when you have more brown darkening under the eye, and this mm. is caused by an overproduction of melanin. Okay. It's more common in darker skin types, mm -hmm. and it can be genetic or acquired. When it's acquired, it's usually because of the sun exposure. Okay. Your second type is vascular. Vascular is caused by just simply being able to see the veins under the eye through thin skin. Oh. It is usually your bluish or purplish mm -hmm. in color, and it's more common in individuals of a lighter skin tone. Okay. And the things that can cause that are... Uh, activities or lifestyle activities that cause uh, um, vascular damage, okay. such as smoking and drinking, right. the common ones. The common mm. ones, okay. Then the third category is I, it's structural. So the people think wrinkles is a category or um, like uh, hollowness is a mm -hmm. separate category, but I put them all under structural because this has to do with the architecture of the skin and the structures under the mm -hmm. eye. 
Okay. So your hollowness creates shadows, and then those shadows, in combination with some wrinkles, can contribute to dark under eyes. How do we get rid of these suckers? <laughs> what are we doing here? Yeah, so there are many things that are available and on that services I provide and many other doctors provide that can help to get rid of dark under eyes. For hyperpigmentation, once you know the cause, then you know how to treat it. So if the cause is overproduction, then you need to decrease the production of melanin and help lift the pigment. Okay. You can do that with topicals such as hydroquinone, transamic acid, kojic acid. Mm. Yes. Okay, and then how about for the vascular and then the structural? So for vascular, I approach this in two ways. Because you're seeing the vessels, you want to basically do things that are going to get those vessels to constrict. Because when they constrict, that pushes the pigment forward and away from the under eye, so that way they're smaller and less visible. You can do that by using caffeine or cold eye patches. See, there this is, is there what I do truth. every morning. There is some truth <laughs> okay. to those eye patches. Yes. Okay. And then yeah. how about for the structural? For structural, you want to rebuild the architecture of the skin. Mm -hmm. So dermal fillers are good for the hollows, mm -hmm. as we all know. <laughs> and then you have things like platelet-rich plasma, platelet-rich fibrin that help mm -hmm. to stimulate growth factors and collagen. But this is something that we go into the office to get done. Because yeah. uh, yeah. you say pl platelet-rich <clears throat> plasma, I think like microneedling with PRP. Mm -hmm. Would you do that to the under eye? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can do it topically. You can do it with a in treatment. The mm -hmm. Some of us are born with it. Some of us yeah. acquire now, it. Now, if it is genetic, obviously, you know, you, you they say look at your parents and that's mm -hmm. a peek into your future. Are there ways to, any of these things that you've talked about now, can we do this to maybe reduce? Obviously, that's kind of going to be with aging mm -hmm. what we're fighting here, but is there a way to kind of have a control on it with any of the aforementioned treatments? So the way to best control, because everything is nature versus nurture. Yeah. Your DNA versus what you expose yourself to and how you take care of yourself. So I, I like to look at beauty in three main categories. Categories. The first one, sun protection, yeah. Yeah. UV rays, ages your skin. We all know this, but we, we don't all use our sunblock, so we need right to now. use that. <laughs> yes. The second thing is having a great skincare regimen. Yeah. Uh, things like hyaluronic acid and ferulic acid and, and serums that have antioxidants in it, vitamin B, vitamin D, vitamin E, that helps you to not deal with or uh, absorb the effects of the oh, harmful right, sun right. rays. All right, brass text, what do you do? Because I want to just look like you. Yes, your skin is fantastic. And don't tell me I have to die and be born again. No, 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 <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Besides those first two things, I'm very, very adamant about my nutrients, my micronutrients. So, so I, this is what you're this putting is in I'm, your mouth. Everything yeah. I'm, yes, everything that I'm saying to you guys is exactly what I do. Yeah. So um, I take really great supplements that mm -hmm. have, it's very rich in B vitamins, mm -hmm. minerals, um, antioxidants, amino acids, and my goal is to keep my skin looking as youthful as possible forever. She's actually <laughs> 129 both. years we're gonna old. Go, we're, we have, we have, we're out of time, unfortunately. We know we could talk about this rest That's of the show. Right. We're going to have to take this offline. Thank Dr. you so much. Lanisha. Of course. That's no, worthy. It was a pleasure. You are welcome. So knowledge. There Thank might, you. There might be hope for us. I hope you have business cards with you because I'm going to need one. I'm already I'm stalking her on the gram. All right. We're only two months into 2024. The, already the box office has seen some major cinematic success. Yeah, we got the chance to sit down with actor Mackay Pfeiffer to talk about all his starring, or his new starring role in the all-new action thriller. It's called Lights Out.